What is up YouTube? If you've been following Street Fighter 6 at all, you know that there have been two trailers that just dropped for the game uh, about two days ago that showed off some gameplay, the new character Jamie, as well as Ryu, Luke, and Chun. If you aren't in the know though, and you're not on Twitter, I know a lot of you are not, then you might not know about this blog post right here. So you know at first glance, uh, it's just a random Street Fighter 6 blog post, and you wouldn't think it has any new information in it since like why would it not be on the Street Fighter website? website or inside the trailers themselves but this blog post actually gives two select moves um, for every character so two select moves for Luke right here two select moves for Jamie uh, two select moves for Ryu and two select moves for Chun-Li the four characters that they showed off and what's crazy is that like some of these moves yeah they were in the trailer um, but they weren't explained but some of these moves were not even in the trailer at all so this is just like some completely new information where you might have seen the trailer but you didn't see all the information uh, that has been released so in this video we're going to cover these eight select moves and we're also going to go look at the existing moves to see how they changed uh, how they were presented in the trailer before we get into the video make sure to subscribe to the channel um, and hit a like on this video because it helps this video out a lot and let's get into it all right so let's go over Ryu first you know he still has his normal moves he has his uh, Hadouken he has a Shoryuken uh, he has his Tatsumaki Senpugyaku as well um, as you can see here he tries to do it through a Kikoken uh, he also has his donkey kick as shown here um, but the two moves that are um, explained right here, so let's first go over Denjin Charge. They show it in the trailer. It, it's very confusing at first because you might have thought that it's just like a system-wide beat trigger kind of mechanic that powers up moves. But this is just like an um, install where uh, Ryu charges up for a second and it powers up either his Hadouken or his Hashogeki. And Hashogeki is the move that you see uh, in this clip right here. When it's powered up, the Denjin Hashogeki actually combos into a donkey kick but the regular Hashogeki um, doesn't go into anything at all which makes it seem like you don't get a combo after it. And in terms of implications for the gameplay, like Hashogeki is, it looks like a fireball but it's not a fireball so I'm guessing like up close it's useful in a way that a Hadouken is not, like I think it's useful for pressure probably in terms of like doing a crouch medium kick into it um, and maybe it's plus on hit so you might be trying to like do it for a reset, quick reset into a throw and I think in long range it can probably be used as like a fake fireball so you just throw it out there bait an opponent to do like an anti-fireball move and then punish them for it because it's probably like less recovery than a uh, Hadouken is. Here's just some more examples from the trailer of this in action so you see him uh, doing the Hashogeki right there after the drive rush and you see Ryu in a fireball war here he realizes Chun-Li is just parrying some stuff um, he charges up his Denjin, does a Denjin charge, and then a Denjin Hadouken. And you can see it, two hits on it, probably does more stun. So Ryu has probably all the moves you would expect, um, so what about Luke? Does he have uh, the moves you would expect him to have too? So he has his run tackle right there. You can see his regular sand blast right here. Uh, you see the EX version of his DP right here, it leads to like a little extra hit, which makes me think you either get a combo after, or it just le leaves you in a better position than before. You see his heavy flash knuckle right there as well. Um, so it looks like Luke just has like a very similar moveset to Street Fighter V. And also after his drive impact he gets Crouch Fierce, EX Flash Knuckle into his regular DP. So it looks like his EX Flash Knuckle can work the same as it previously did. Alright, so that's all fine, that's about what we expected. So what are these select moves? Well, they're a little bit different in terms of the uses. So he has this DDT after his EX Flash Knuckle. He can actually do this command grab move. Um, I'm thinking the uh, implications of this is he has an option to either go for uh, more damage. I think this DDT, it doesn't look like it does a lot of damage, but I'm guessing it probably will do a lot of damage and they'll make it look more impactful and stuff. Or he could go for like the full follow-up and um, actually uh, get better Oki uh, on it. And then this fatal shot is kind of boring. It's just like two hits of an EX fireball. Um, you see it says OD Sandblast. Let's remember that there's no such things as EX moves anymore. Even though they look exactly the same as uh, EX moves in previous games, they're, they're flashing yellow. We're gonna have to call them uh, OD moves. 
because of their OD. And you spend two of your drive gauge bars for them. So yeah, Luke's moves, uh, honestly, pretty boring besides its DDT. I, I guess that's kind of cool, but they, they just introduced him in Street Fighter V last year. So like at this point, we don't really need anything like new and fresh and exciting with him. Like he's already still a fresh character. Like we just want to see how he fits into the game. So Ryu and Luke looking pretty good. What about Chun-Li? She still has her Kikoken. Her, her signature fireball. She still has her EX legs too, um, which right here actually goes into a follow-up after the crouch medium kick. Um, you can see crouch medium kick EX legs. Uh, it does like an extra little kick after. So a little bit of a different knockdown on the EX legs. Um, but the crazy thing, like I watched both of the trailers like a couple of times to confirm this, but I didn't see Chun-Li doing a spinning bird kick a single time, which makes me think that she doesn't have spinning bird kick anymore because I feel like they like they show all of Ryu and Luke's like normal normal special attacks that they've had in the previous games. Um, so I would assume they do the same for Chun-Li, but they did not show her spinning bird kick as, at all. Uh, hopefully that's not the case though, since like I feel like her spinning bird kick is a signature move but what are not signature moves are these two select moves so you have Tensho kicks this move actually was in Street Fighter 4 um, I think the input for that in Street Fighter 4 was like you do back medium kick forward medium kick and then to get the Tensho kick you do like down up medium kick uh, the description says Chun-Li rises into the air with a flurry of kicks useful for countering an opponent's jump attack or to close out combos which actually makes it even more likely that spinning bird kick is not in the game and it's been replaced with potential kicks because um if potential kicks is her like anti-air and it seems like a combo ender um like it doesn't seem like there's a need for spinning bird kick anymore but i think the more interesting move is actually this serenity stream so chun li switches to a low stationary fighting stance while in this stance chun li's normal attack buttons change so in this clip chun li does a stand fear switches stances and i'm guessing that's also a stand fierce because i'm assuming they're they're showing in this trailer like what the difference is with Chun Li when she's in the stand. So she does a normal stand fierce, and then she stand switches. I think that's another stand fierce. At least it looks like a heavy button. So it seems like she's going to get two stances. One where she's at her like normal zoning footies style, where she has like a long range stand fierce. Um, but when she's in this Serenity stance, I'm guessing is what it's called. Then she has shorter range moves. I'm guessing that gives more damage or something else in return. So in the past multiple stance like uh, Street Fighter characters have been pretty strong like in Street Fighter 4 you had Gen, in Street Fighter 5 Zeku is strong, Vega is not too strong but it's actually I think a first in Street Fighter where the stance uh, only changes your normal moves because for all the characters that I can think of in a Street Fighter game they had their special moves changed as well um, when they changed stances so like Zeku goes into young Zeku he has like a slide move now and uh, again in Street Fighter 4 and Vega in Street Fighter 5 also have different moves depending on what stance they are um, in terms of special moves so it doesn't sound like that's going to be the case with Chun-Li at least she's going to have like the same special moves. Alright now we get into a look at Jamie. I think um, it's kind of hard to tell like what are normal moves um, and what are special moves and like when he gets certain special moves um, but I think this is him doing a target combo into like this up kicks thing that is similar to uh, Yang's DP in Street Fighter 4 so I think that would be a special move instead of just part of the target combo uh, and then right here this looks like a Rekka after the parry it doesn't look like a target combo to me it looks like he cancels a button into a three hit Rekka um, and that last part looks like super punishable if you go through with the whole thing. So uh, I I'm guessing that Jamie is actually going to be a Rekka character and that's going to be like one of his signature moves that he's always going to have access to. But what's going to make Jamie unique is um, that he's not going to have access to all of his special moves all the time. So if we take a look at this um, move, the devil inside, Jamie takes a swig out of his key unleashing drink to raise his drink level. Higher levels unlock access to additional moves. So you can see him taking a drink. It says this luminous dive kick, you have to have a drink level of at least one. Um, so this dive kick actually looks broken. Uh, let me first just say, cause it changes his jump arc tremendously, like all the way like uh, 
down vertically. So if you're expecting a cross up, you're going to be walking forward trying to block the cross up. He's just going to do that dive kick move. Uh, it seems very annoying to deal with already. So you can see that uh, it says drink level one plus here. So I don't think higher levels will actually enhance moves. I think it literally just uh, unlocks certain moves as you go further along. So I think once you have at least one drink, you will have access to the dive kick. And then in this clip here, you actually see him taking another drink after the Luminous Sidekick. So now he's at drink level 2 at least, and he has access to this weird little twirly around thing. So it definitely seems like Jamie's going to be one of the more technical characters where you're going to have to constantly uh, keep track of your drink level and make sure that you're drinking at optimal times to try and increase your drink level. It's not clear if like maybe you can lose your level, kind of like how G can lose his power level in Street Fighter V once he gets knocked down. Um, or if like maybe it carries over during rounds, like if he drinks three drinks in the first round, does he keep like a drink level of three uh, to the second round? Because like logically it makes sense, but in terms of gameplay, uh, that seems kind of broken if uh, the special moves are that much better that he's getting access to. So there's still a bit of unknown with Jamie, but what we can say is like his key unleashing drink to raise his drink level, like that's a pretty cool mechanic and we're gonna have to see how it plays out. And we didn't get to see many of the uh, super arts in the game, but we did see a couple. Um, so this is one of Jamie's super arts. It looks kind of like that twirly around special move that he did, um, but just a super art version of it. Uh, you can see it again here after the drive impact he goes into it. Um, so it seems like a lot of the times after you do a drive impact, you just go straight into a super art. Um, but something that I noticed is that like that super art didn't go into an animation. Um, but these ones do, like, uh, Ryu has his Shin Shoryuken right here, it goes into a crazy animation. I'm thinking that, like, th these ones that go into animation probably do more damage, and I'm thinking they would cost more than one of your super art gauges. Um, cause you do have a maximum of three super art gauges. Uh, you can see right here in this image at the bottom, you can fill it up to three stocks. So my guess is the animation super arts will take two or three of the stocks and then like the normal super arts will just take one stock. Uh, they actually show all three of Ryu super arts right here. He has Shinku Hadoken. Um, that's been in other games before. Uh, he has Shin Hashogeki. Um, so Hashogeki is actually not a completely new attack. It's a new special move. Um, but as you can see here, Hashogeki is the name of Ryu's V reversal. Uh, you can see it's kind of the same thing. Obviously, it's going to serve a different purpose. It's not a V reversal in Street Fighter 6 um, as it is in Street Fighter 5, but he's moving forward and doing like a key blast. And he has Shin Shoryuken, that's the animation one we saw in the trailer. Yeah, so the fact that there are three super arts, maybe this one takes one bar, this one takes two bars, this one takes three. Maybe these two just take one, this one takes three. Uh, it's very hard to say uh, initially, and we'll see when the game uh, gets more information released. But in terms of animation supers, we did actually get some footage of the other one. So this one is Luke's. He just like um, pounces on them and starts punching the heck out of them. Uh, and the, the finisher is actually really cool too. Oof. Mmm. Yeah, so I think all the animation super arts have been, they've been looking really sick. And then we saw the start of the Chun-Li super art right here. Um, after the drive impact, she goes into her level, th I'm guessing it's a level 3 super art, we don't know for sure. Um, we see Jamie start his, I'm guessing. Not very much of it, just a teaser where he has like his finger to uh, Luke's throat. And yeah, that's all of the moves that they showed for Street Fighter 6 so far, all of the information that we've seen. Do you think they should have a spinning bird kick for Chun-Li or is this Tensho Kicks move enough? Let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe because less than 50% of you are subscribed to the channel and subscribing just helps the channel out a lot. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.